Security is a big challenge when we are deploying applications. We use uh, certain images. So let's say you are deploying an application, you will be using an image, there will be a base image and there can be vulnerabilities in that base image that you are not managing. And then comes the patching problem. So there are cases where you need to rebuild the entire image and then patch it. You need to have specific time dedicated for those set of scenarios where you found a vulnerability in the third party app image and then you need to maintain it to meet the SLAs that you are having with respect to security. But what if I tell you that there is a project that might be able to solve some of the challenges that I just mentioned. Hello everyone, my name is Sayam Bhatak and you are watching Cube Simplify. In this video, we'll be discussing about COPA, a new CNCF sandbox project. And before starting, this video is brought to you by Slim AI, Cast AI, Sysdig and Commodore. So make sure to check them out. They help in sponsoring my time so that I can create these fancy content for you and the links are in the description. So as I mentioned, uh, Copa is a CNCF sandbox project. It is based on BuildKit. Don't know about BuildKit? Uh, so actually you are using BuildKit everywhere. So if you are using a Docker, Docker behind the scenes uh, uses ContainerD that behind the scenes uses BuildKit. So BuildKit is basically a tool that can convert your whole code base into an artifact, which is efficient, expressive and uh, repeatable. So Copa is a CLI tool that can help you directly patch the container images by adding the layer on top of that by using the vulnerability scanning results from the scanners, which is Trivi. So what it does, it patches the container images and it's a CNCF sandbox project based on BuildKit. So as I mentioned before that the security has always been a problem. Why? As per recent reports, the time from when the vulnerability is discovered to the time when the attacker attacks on that vulnerability is becoming shorter and shorter and even becoming less than 15 minutes. So just imagine a scenario where you have a vulnerability that has been discovered inside a base image or a third party tooling and in less than 15 minutes there's an attack happening to run some malicious code or get data out of the applications which are running i mean it's a nightmare so in that this particular tool sounds really promising because it helps you to automatically discover those vulnerabilities using Privy, which is very well standard a tool for finding the vulnerabilities inside the image or the third party vulnerabilities and if you have that vulnerability database and you are checking it against the tool to find it and then patch it and now what patch means is you don't have to rebuild the image you are patching it directly so patching without a rebuild is one of the core i would say features of this particular project that got me excited to create the video obviously even if you are not the owner of that particular package you can still patch because you'll get to know the vulnerability and it only adds the additional patch layer on top of it further reducing the storage and transmission cost obviously time to patch gets reduced so as soon as you get the vulnerability it will be patched so the time for patching a particular image gets reduced and therefore you are safe from the attacks that might happen. And yes, it obviously reduces the complexity of patching the image because you don't have to rebuild the entire pipeline. You don't have to rebuild the entire image. You, the tool will automatically take care of patching it by adding a patching layer on top of the existing application base that you are having. Now, uh, on a very high level, how uh, this works is, uh, let's say you have a code and then Trivi scans that code. So Trivi will scan that code and prepare a vulnerability report. So you get a vulnerability report and COPA, which is a CLI tool, will parse this vulnerability report and will create a diff like based on various levels, which I'll also show and then add a patch layer on top of the code. So you have your operating system, language, framework, application, and then you will be having the patch image on top of that. So it works with the existing vulnerability scanning ecosystem. It works seamlessly and the developers do not need to build their images. And also it directly relies on the vulnerability reports that get generated from the popular tools like Trivi, which is already a very good standard set out there in the ecosystem. So you don't have to have deep knowledge on how to fix 
and remediate all those things it will check from the well-established vulnerability reports so as i mentioned earlier there are obviously a lot of benefits with respect to the design that copa is built the the first and the biggest one is the container patching without having the need to rebuild the container so it accelerates the container patching process by eliminating waiting on the base image dependency chains to get the updation of the particular application and the base or uh, os dependencies which are there and it works with the existing ecosystem uh, existing container images ex existing ecosystem and then you don't need any specific knowledge for how to fix those images because it is dependent on the vulnerability reports so you can see that there are various process involved till the time it actually patches a particular image so you can see solving the image probe llb graph what is llb so build kit builds are based on the binary format, binary intermediate form format, which is called the LLB. So it is used to define the dependency graphs for the processes that are running as part of the build. So all the processes that are running as part of the build, this particular dependency graph, which is the LLB that is being used. And obviously it makes caching pretty cool. It concurrency executable and all those things. So you can see you have a scan report, uh, you have Copa patch. It's getting the LLB graph. So you get the target. So this is your target container context and you have your pro image configuration and status. The results is in the new layer in the build kit cache. So you get this probe report over here and this is the image that has to be patched. Then exports to the host, then parse the report, fix the update type, configure the update tools like the apt and yum or whatever the package managers are. Solve the tools set up using the LLB dependency graph and actually setting up the tools adding the new tool layer so you have the update tools right now over here then coming to the installation of those updates again solving update llb graphs so apply these tools so merging the tools layer then installing the updates so installed updates and then updating the status of that so after updating the status it is the diff and the merge of the update layer so update layer gets merged and then the report is also parsed verified and then at last the past image is exported as a tarball so that's how the image patch and installed updates uh, are being done uh, that's how the patching is being done using the copa cli obviously it's doing such a complex thing and internally it is using the llb very intelligently to do all those things and reading intelligently from the vulnerability report and then patching it let's actually try to see this in action so you need to obviously have copa build kit docker trivi everything in the system installing copa is pretty simple uh, you can just w get from the releases page and then tar hyphen xvf copa and we'll move copa to slash user local pin and now we should be able to run copa so you can see it has copa completion copa patch so that's the main command that we are looking forward to patching the container images with upgrade packages specified by a vulnerability report we also need to have trivi so i already have installed trivi so you can see trivi is already there let's try to pull an image so docker pull nginx and if i run just the trivi image without getting the json format uh, i can actually see in the table format what are vulnerabilities are there critical high medium all these in the table format so in order to patch the image we'll use copa patch we'll give the image name give the vulnerability report that we generated using trivi and then try to patch it so you can already see it is trying to update some of the stuff and then diff then merge export the layer sending the tarball and you can see the loaded image is patched let's try to see the vulnerabilities from the patched image and you can see it has zero vulnerabilities. I mean, how cool is that? Now it has perfectly patched the image with so many vulnerabilities that came in using the report intelligently without I requiring the knowledge on how to fix this. Will this work? What are the internal dependency tree that works? The dependency graph tree that it uses internally is pretty solid and it is giving the results. So you can see there are total zero vulnerabilities over there. You can also see docker history of this image and here you can see a new patch layer so that's where it is just adding a patch layer on top of it let's try to run it and 
and we can see it's working perfectly fine. So you can run it against multiple custom address like we did run against the address buildx demo. So what you can do is you can connect to that build kit running inside Kubernetes, build kit running inside a container. So all these things are the build kit address which is there. So those stuff uh, can be done easily and there are examples for that as well. Now you can also ignore specific set of vulnerabilities. So you can create a Rego policy and in that Rego policy, you can mention what CVEs you want to ignore, what all packages you want to ignore, if you want to ignore VIM or if you want to ignore any other things. So you can do that as well. And when you are building the image, you just pass on the ignore policy and give that Rego policy over there. So it will ignore a certain set of vulnerabilities that has to be ignored. So I hope you got the gist of what COPA is, how COPA can be used to patch a particular image and get to zero vulnerabilities, which is just dope. Now, obviously it has certain constraints since it is only dependent on the vulnerability scanner, only the presence of the vulnerable packages via the vulnerability scanners. It can only address certain set of limited kind of vulnerabilities and it depends on the individual package managers adapter. So it can lead to some of the things like outdated package manager, missing packages, graph. So if the graph that is get generated is not correct, then it won't be able to give you the right set of results. But for commonly used images that you're using, I think it makes a really valid use case for continuous vulnerability scanning and continuous patching before the attacker gets to your image and your code and run the malicious code. So I hope you got the gist of what COPA is and how it can help you. What are you using? I would like to definitely know what are you using for the vulnerability scanning and patching uh, for your images? How often are you patching the images? Uh, because that is something uh, which needs to be addressed uh, with the, all the software supply chain and the third party dependencies that we are relying on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed reading about COPA and uh, thought to create a video on it. If you like it, do like the video share it and comment what are you using and thank you for watching see you in the next one